This is a pretty typical home office with a printer, an HP Media Smart server, a photo printer, a scanner, and of course the usual complement of computers. And this should look familiar. A cable modem, a router, a switch, numerous power cords. And here, in the corner of our home office, is a traditional closet about three feet wide on the inside with a coat rack and a shelf. So the challenge here is how to convert this closet into a computer rack to improve the storage in the room and the computer operations in the room. We did have Ethernet installed in the house and so one of the first things that the electrician did was to replace the current Ethernet junction box and move it into the closet so the closet becomes the point of presence for all networking in the home. The old junction box will only serve the wired devices that are in the office itself. So this is the wiring done in the closet which will be finished up tomorrow. As you can see the old junction box with Ethernet to the various rooms in the house has been moved over to uh, the closet at this point. In addition, the entry point for the cable modem as well as telephone service will be moved into the rack area as well. And we had two single gang outlets put about 16 inches apart along the wall. As you can see we've added some Belkin surge protectors uh, to allow us to hook up multiple devices. Uh, only a handful of these devices will be on at any point in time and they're just low power and so this isn't a particular issue at this point as far as power consumption goes. The surge protectors here will protect anything that's inside the closet. We do have a UPS that will serve uh, the networking devices when they're in the closet. However, the house does have a natural gas generator uh, which is an automatic start and so this UPS only needs to sustain everything for about 15 or 20 seconds. And so here's the finished wiring job. We already have one cable patched from the office up to the rest of the house and eventually we're going to invert this setup so that the point of presence will be here in the closet and the office and the house will be both served from the same location. You can see our Belkin surge protectors that are installed in the individual gang outlets. So we put a total of a dozen devices here. Uh, we have six circuits feeding the office and another six Ethernet circuits feeding the house. And here is the uh, cable input and the telephone backfeed input for the cable modem phone service as well. We're now in the middle of painting and starting to install uh, the Freedom Rail system that goes across the back of the closet. Because of the clothes chute that goes across the back of this closet, I had to cut and reform the Freedom Rail shelves to comply with the opening. This was fairly easily done by clipping the back wires, uh, moving the wires and the back uh, wire support forward, and then super gluing two uh, one eighth by one inch aluminum strips beneath the wire rail to give it extra support. And here is the completed closet before we install the server and networking gear and printer. So as you can see the Freedom Rail system went in very cleanly. And here is where we had to do the cutting across the back of the Freedom Rail and reinforcements. And because of that we weren't able to install another Freedom Rail a hanger on the right hand side. So I just used uh, wood supports on the right. The inside is painted uh, white uh, semi-gloss to cut down on dust. So here's the finished product with some floor storage and some USB devices on the second level. And on the third level we have our cable modem which is backhauled into the phone system for a cable phone service and our router and another 
Ethernet switch and our HP home server. All of those devices are served by a UPS, even though the house has a natural gas generator. This will get it through the 15 seconds that it needs for the natural gas generator to start. Up on the next level is our printer. We do have a Jet Direct uh, Ethernet uh, print adapter for that. Uh, we also have the Belkin USB print server that we might experiment with. And then at the top, we have our wireless access point and we'll have some additional USB storage up here for use whenever we need it. So this is almost completed with the exception of some overly long Ethernet cables and so I'll get some short patch cords and we'll replace that soon. But that, in a nutshell, is the home office closet data center.